Welcome to Be Less Stupid, the show for people interested in knowing how the world really works. For people interested in facts and not opinion. For anyone who sees a spitball miraculously land in a guy's ass crack and wants to yell, like my former employer, Craig Kilborn, used to say, Jumanji! Incidentally, it took a team of three Navy SEALs with hazmat suits, night vision goggles, and an ice cream scoop for two days to bivouac in and recover that spitball. One didn't make it out. Lieutenant Carl Hopper, you will be missed. On today's show, three million people have seen this video of a lemon being used as a battery, all of whom have the same question. If we can get electricity from a lemon, why can't anyone take a naked selfie in a mirror without seeing their telephone? And I'll reveal the answer to this question. Diamond Tierra, porn star or My Little Pony? Plus, we'll do an experiment about time using this clip of me juggling knives and playing a real world version of Fruit Ninja. On Sundays, I also perform circumcisions, three at a time. Moving on, we begin with facts from the big countdown of facts you should know, but probably don't. This week, Nike introduced the HyperAdapt 1.0s, their first laceless sneaker that automatically tightens when you step on the heel. The battery that makes the sneaker work also powers the built-in GPS, which makes it easier for cops to recover once your sneakers are stolen off your feet. And they will be, absolutely 100% guaranteed. Nike says that the HyperAdapts are the perfect sneaker for the guy who can't afford to buy a Mustang convertible, but still wants girls to think he has a very big penis. This week, nearly three million people watched this video of a guy who takes a lemon, a couple of nails and binder clips, then generates enough volts of electricity to start a fire. Or as my 11 year old daughter referred to it, her rejected third grade science fair project. You see, what you're seeing is the very basic science at the heart of a battery in which a chemical reaction is turned into electrical energy. In this case, the copper clip and the zinc nail are referred to as the electrodes. A lemon pulp acts as an electrolyte, a fluid through which electricity can flow. The lemon is acidic and acts on the zinc and the copper. And through this chemical process, an excess of electrons collects at one electrode, while simultaneously electrons are lost from the other electrode. This creates an electrical charge, which is transferred by the wire when you complete the circuit. By touching the wire to the steel wool, you get a spark, which starts the fire. This video caused a huge problem at my house when my kids decided to fix the remote control. I had a feeling something was wrong when the kids called me out to the backyard to show off our battery tree. Idiots. Anyway, coming up, the most boring thing in the world ever. I am going to read the Spanish version of the safety warning attached to the directions to build an IKEA bookcase.
Welcome back to Be Less Stupid, the show for people interested in understanding how the world really works and want the facts that will make the road we all travel a whole lot less bumpy. And a reminder, if you like the show, please do me a favor and share it with your friends. That is how we spread the love. Plus, in just a minute, I'm going to tell you if Diamond Tierra is a porn star or a character on My Little Pony. But first, today we're going to look at time and how we experience it. Up first, I'm going to show you a short video clip. All I want you to do is watch it and pay attention. When the clip's over, I will have more instructions. Okay, here we go. Okay, now I want you to decide how long you thought that clip was. Just make a choice and remember it, okay? You got it? Now I'm going to show you a second clip, a different clip. When it's over, I will have more instructions, okay? Here we go. Se incluyan los dispositivos de fiazón dado que los divisiros materiales de pared requieren diferentes tipos de herajes de fijazón. Usa herajes adecuados. Okay, again, I want you to think about it and make a choice. How long was that video? What did you guess? About 15 or 20 seconds for the first clip and about 25 or 30 seconds for the second clip? That's probably about right. Only guess what? They're both exactly the same length, 20 seconds each. So if they were the same length, the question you must be asking yourself is, how did my Spanish get to be so fucking good? Two semesters in high school, mi amigos. No, the question is why did the second one feel so much longer? You see, the first clip has lots of stuff going on. There's juggling of knives, there's fruit getting smashed, graphics, sound effects, exciting music, right? The busier the brain is absorbing and processing all of this information, the less time your brain has to notice the passage of time. And thus, the busier you are, the more quickly a given time interval will feel. Conversely, when you're bored, the brain has very little in which to occupy its attention. Thus, it pays more attention to the passage of time. In other words, boring stuff feels like it lasts longer. Anyway, that's it for this episode of Be Less Stupid. Please, like our Facebook page. That way you'll get new episodes in your timeline two to three times a week. And remember, it's totally free. Oh, and Diamond Tierra, she is a my Little Pony. I know, nuts, right? That's it. Thanks very much. I'll see you next time on Be Less Stupid.